Hello and welcome to the seventh episode of the Late Colonization series. You don't have to watch these in order, these missions are all kinda separate, but they all build up to one grand goal, and that is properly colonizing Late. As you can see in front of you, there's this big ol' SSTO flying. This SSTO has a bit of a secret in it, you've probably seen it in the thumbnail, but in fact, it has some cargo holds with small SSTOs. Of course, we aren't going to be going straight to Lathe as much as I would love to, because this SSTO is carrying quite a bit of extra weight on it, and it's also meant to carry cables, so it's a bit heavy. Because of that, we'll have to make not one, but two pit stops. So, of course, we can watch the show now, and I'll see you when I see you, which is going to be in Minmus. One big thing which you have to know when you're trying to land such a massive vehicle is that it is very instrumental that you don't mess up the landing. Now I've confirmed I can do these landings and I have a test SCO that I have to avoid. There's actually multiple heavy objects right here on this landing zone that I have to not go too close to otherwise the game will lag to hell. But yeah. Uh, this landing didn't go as well, and the SCO had a tendency to um, be uh, exploding in a time warp, so it has unbreakable joints, which is why the landing is a bit harder than you would expect, but it still manages to uh, land properly. There is a second issue of the landing, which you'll see soon, which is that the wheels will just go insane, and it's kind of it's kind of sad, honestly. It's kind of annoying. Uh, it's going to happen after we go out of time warp, but it's not going to be an issue. Because we can just really quickly refuel and set up our coordinates and fly off. And I'll see you when I see you, which is going to be when we're doing the weirdo burn in dual orbit. See you then.
now that we're actually in Jewel, but this this was a lot of work. This was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And as you can see, the process of getting here is also really complicated. There was like an entire gravity assist thing that I had to deal with Tylo. There was a lot of stuff, but yeah. Every single time I do one of these burns to eliminate all my velocity, they're really stressful. Because sometimes it feels like they take the wrong part of your crap to measure how long you have until doomsday, so it can be tense. But losing speed right before you actually lose altitude is always super satisfying. It isn't that hard once you actually get there, and we have more than enough fuel to make the landing. Even though at like, what, 800 or something meters per second, it is kind of cutting it close for my, um, you know, measure once, cut four times approach to flying these vehicles. But hey, we managed to land, and the vehicle didn't even freak out of the landing gear this time. So of course it's a standard affair of mining and being ready to fly again, but I have to say that for some reason, uh, this time, it just, for some unknown reason to me, uh, started overheating. I don't know why. G I genuinely don't. If you know why all the components, maybe one reactor, maybe one big thing to cool them is enough. I don't know. That thing's actually on an arm that I never bothered extending because uh, I'm afraid of it. Uh, not the only issue of this spacecraft, it is also very hard to maneuver. Even though I did actually add some reaction wheels, it really wasn't enough. But anyways, yeah, we're flying off. I love how these big SSTOs look and feel when they fly, though they are a chore to control. And this mission took several real-life hours, as simple as it may seem to you. Of course, we don't have that much to do now except just fly to Lathe, which we have to use Tylo to get ourselves close enough to Lathe to actually do that, so we can have enough fuel to fly all the way back to Pole if we want to refuel, because although I could land the SSTO, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think we'd have enough ground to slow down. This thing's only really meant to land back on a normal runway. It's really big and heavy. It's actually an issue with Lathe, though I think we could get away with landing in the water like I did in the very first episode of that shuttle SSTO. Uh, of course, now that we're actually in Lathe orbit, it's time to do what I wanted to do and why this mission was cool in the first place. Within one of the cargo bay doors, there's actually one in both, but we'll only be opening the right cargo bay door. And uh, you can actually see that down there, there's a little SSTO. Of course, we'll be giving one brave or more likely unlucky Kerbinal to the ability to fly this thing down to Lathe, down to that surface base that we have, and uh, this thing could go back up. But it won't for now. I want to be fully sure it can make the trip. So I'm going to send in a uh, extra tug later on, we'll see. The wings extend, and off we go. Isn't this cool? Because I think it is. Anyways, yeah, so when you actually come down, this is a little bit chaotic, and uh, a few times things went very wrong, but eventually, eventually I managed to land properly, it did jump a little, and holy shit I managed, and then it was just a matter of time of just kind of slowly making my way to the base, it took a bit of effort and a bit of 
reloading after I went too fast. Yeah, it turns out this thing, in order to be compact, is a little bit difficult to maneuver. But I did test it beforehand, and that's how I know it works. Though, of course, I didn't test it on a land as bumpy as Leith. Though maybe there was a flatter spot on Leith I could land on, I don't know. Of course, this brings our lovely mission to a close, and uh, here's where I have to say thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. I don't know what the next mission will be. Just kidding, I do. It'll be landing a big ol' refueler on the ground, because, surprisingly enough, I we need one of those. I actually started working on one, but then I wanted to add too many features and it got too bloated, so I have to start all over again. Also, that's gonna be a pain to land, though. Uh, it's gonna be full of fuel tanks anyways, so we'll have to kind of, you know, send it over there. It's gonna be fine. Anyways, yeah, I'll see you then. Goodbye.